How to Stop Age-Related Muscle Loss, Sarcopenia Sarcopenia, also known as muscle loss, is a common condition that affects 10% of adults who are over 50 years old. While it can decrease life expectancy and quality of life, there are actions you can take to prevent and even reverse the condition. Although some of the causes of sarcopenia are a natural consequence of aging, others are preventable. In fact, a healthy diet and regular exercise can reverse sarcopenia, increasing lifespan and quality of life. For factors that accelerate muscle loss. Although aging is the most common cause of sarcopenia, other factors can also trigger an imbalance between muscle anabolism and catabolism. Immobility, including a sedentary lifestyle. Disuse of muscle is one of the strongest triggers of sarcopenia, leading to faster muscle loss and increasing weakness. Bed rest or immobilization after an injury or illness leads to rapid loss of muscle. Although less dramatic, two to three weeks of decreased walking and other regular activity is also enough to decrease muscle mass and strength. Periods of decreased activity can become a vicious cycle. Muscle strength decreases, resulting in greater fatigue and making it more difficult to return to normal activity. Unbalanced diet. A diet providing insufficient calories and protein results in weight loss and diminished muscle mass. Unfortunately, low-calorie and low-protein diets become more common with aging due to changes in sense of taste, problems with the teeth, gums, and swallowing, or increased difficulty shopping and cooking. To help prevent sarcopenia, scientists recommend consuming 25 to 30 grams of protein at each meal. Inflammation After injury or illness, Inflammation sends signals to the body to tear down and then rebuild the damaged groups of cells. Chronic or long-term diseases can also result in inflammation that disrupts the normal balance of tear down and healing, resulting in muscle loss. For example, a study of patients with long-term inflammation resulting from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, also showed that patients had decreased muscle mass. Examples of other diseases that cause long-term inflammation include rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, lupus, vasculitis, severe burns, and chronic infections like tuberculosis. A study of 11,249 older adults found that blood levels of C-reactive protein, an indicator of inflammation, strongly predicted sarcopenia. Severe Stress Sarcopenia is also more common in a number of other health conditions that increase stress on the body. For example, people with chronic liver disease and up to 20% of people with chronic heart failure experience sarcopenia. In chronic kidney disease, stress on the body and decreased activity lead to muscle loss. Cancer and cancer treatments also place great stress on the body, resulting in sarcopenia. How to tell if you have sarcopenia? The signs of sarcopenia are the result of diminished muscle strength. Early signs of sarcopenia include feeling physically weaker over time and having more difficulty than usual lifting familiar objects. A hand grip strength test has been used to help diagnose sarcopenia in studies and may be used in some clinics. Decreased strength might show itself in other ways too, including walking more slowly, becoming exhausted more easily, and having less interest in being active. Losing weight without trying can also be a sign of sarcopenia. However, these signs can also occur in other medical conditions. Yet if you experience one or more of these and can't explain why, talk to a health professional. Exercise can reverse sarcopenia. The strongest way to fight sarcopenia is to keep your muscles active. Combinations of aerobic exercise, resistance training, and balance training can prevent and even reverse muscle loss. At least two to four exercise sessions weekly may be required to achieve these benefits. All types of exercise are beneficial, but some more than others. Resistance training includes weightlifting, pulling against resistance bands, or moving part of the body against gravity. 
When you perform resistance exercise, the tension on your muscle fibers results in growth signals that lead to increased strength. Resistance exercise also increases the actions of growth-promoting hormones. These signals combine to cause muscle cells to grow and repair themselves, both by making new proteins and by turning on special muscle stem cells called satellite cells, which reinforce existing muscle. Thanks to this process, resistance exercise is the most direct way to increase muscle mass and prevent its loss. For nutrients that fight sarcopenia. If you're deficient in calories, protein, or certain vitamins and minerals, you may be at higher risk of muscle loss. However, even if you aren't deficient, getting higher doses of some key nutrients can promote muscle growth or enhance the benefits of exercise. Protein. Getting protein in your diet directly signals your muscle tissue to build and strengthen. As people age, their muscles become more resistant to this signal, so they need to consume more protein to increase muscle growth. One study found that when 33 men over age 70 consumed a meal containing at least 35 grams of protein, their muscle growth increased. Another study found that a group of younger men only required 20 grams of protein per meal to stimulate growth. A third study got seven men over the age of 65 to take daily 15 gram supplements of essential amino acids, the smaller building blocks of protein, which resulted in muscle growth. The amino acid leucine is particularly important for regulating muscle growth. Rich sources of leucine include whey protein, meat, fish, and eggs, as well as soy protein isolate. Vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is related to sarcopenia, although the reasons why are not entirely understood. Taking vitamin D supplements can increase muscle strength and reduce the risk of falling. These benefits have not been seen in all studies, possibly because some research volunteers may have already been getting enough vitamin D. The best dose of vitamin D for preventing sarcopenia is currently unclear. Omega-3 fatty acids no matter how old you are, consuming omega-3 fatty acids via seafood or supplements will increase your muscle growth. A study of 45 women found that a daily 2-gram fish oil supplement combined with resistance training increased muscle strength more than resistance training without fish oil. Part of this benefit may be due to the anti-inflammatory benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. However, research has suggested that omega-3s might also signal muscle growth directly. Don't hesitate to leave a comment and share your ideas with us. Thank you, guys, for watching.